Whatever. TV. Hey guys, and welcome to Whatever TV. In today's episode, I decided to pull out an old project that I started about a year ago before I started this YouTube channel. This here, as you see here, is the start of the frame of a T-Rex inspired go-kart. I see I have my motor over here, which I've been working on and building up. I've actually tested out another thing, it's pretty good. A seat I made from fiberglass forming over another seat. Still got a pulse for the seat. This is the rear tire. As you see, is a pretty good size rear tire. <clears throat> so it's gonna have a single tire in the rear here, as you can see. The motor mounts right here. Still working on cleaning it up and welding on some spots and uh, fixing some areas. But the rear suspension is installed. So next project here I'm gonna do is get that seat installed right there. So let's go over to my scrap pile, see what I got for some metal. Uh, this one should be good. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, let's see, actually right there on top, this flat piece right here. I think this will be good. I need to make some brackets for this thing. I think if I weld that across there, cut it right, bend it right, we can make a front bracket for the seat. And I think it might take and drill a hole through here for the back of the seat to bound. And if I mount this on, cut it here and maybe bend it, or I might even have the right bend in it right here for the front. And I see me and make it match on this side. So my goal is to have the seat mounted right there when I get done. In this area later on that's empty back here, I'm gonna we'll do another video. But I'm gonna build a box right there for a small 12 volt battery to run lights for this cart and stuff. And then after I get the seat mounted, I am gonna put a plate on the bottom here, a flat skid plate going across, a couple more supports going across here, and then come up to the front end here, and we'll start putting the front end, doing steering. I am gonna put suspension independent on the front end also of it. So I'll say today's video is part one of this build. Please subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more fun videos I'm gonna to continue to build this and do other videos as I go it's a project that I want to get done that should have been done already so guys if you like this smash that like button subscribe share it let's see how many likes and subscribes we can get guys so I went ahead and uh, that strip of metal that I pulled out of my scrap pile well I uh, Bent it and curved it. As you can see, welded it on there. I also put another uh, tube of the same size support across here. And then I drilled a hole, like I said, into this one here. So, when I take the seat, as you see, the seat will sit on that bracket and you can see the holes. There's one there. One right there and one over there. Um, put the screws through and uh, when I mount the seat, I uh, put a rubber washer about maybe anywhere between about an eighth of an inch thick between the bracket and the seat before I bolt it on. Gives it a little bit, you know, a shock absorber and that so the seat will last longer and be able to take vibration without cracking. And then, so, anyways, I also went and set the motor on and put the rear tire on so you guys can kind of get 
a look of what this bad boy is going to look like when it's done. And that, um, of course, friends sitting a lot higher because it's up on a crate. But in the next video, which I guess is going to be part two, we're going to go to that front end and see what we can get started on there. If it's the uh, power for the steering wheel, or if we need to possibly put the A arms and suspension in first, I think, on the front, and then we we'll figure out the tower for the steering wheel and stuff. I think that's what we'll look into on the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. And always remember, smash that like button. Comment below. Tell me what you think or if you got any ideas. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, share it with your friends. And uh, I think this is going to be a fun cart when it gets done. Again, this is a T-Rex inspired go-kart. Thanks again, guys, and see you next time.